I ain't touched that. Oh Lord, I knew it. I knew it's gonna get up at some point. What's that? His lungs? Oh Lordy Lord. I know I'm qualified, but it ain't important to me. Now I gotta leave. Hi, how are you? Uh -oh. Hi. oh, what the f what? Hey, listen here, you look green mother. Hey. Get back underneath your get back your body bag. Welcome everyone to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be playing a game called Gimmick. Remember this game is Gimmick is a short, spooky data transfer simulator. You play as David who receives an offer for a job. Simple, transfer data on floppy disk. Are you up to the task? What secrets does this place hide? Play to find out. Yeah, man. This don't look bad. Uh, according to the screenshots, like in a, like a basement. And uh, according to this, it has three endings. So we'll see, get a few of them, maybe. I don't know. This could be interesting. Um, haven't seen gameplay on it. So I'm in for a surprise. It should be fun. <laughs> uh, before we get to playing, uh, drinking the video as last video water try to drink more water it's like 96 degrees but i'm pretty sure that if i was outside it felt like it was 100 so uh make sure y'all stay hydrated especially if you're in a hot area just stay hydrated in general water's good for you mountain is good for you too but water is better yeah i've been enjoying these indie game videos i've been making i've been enjoying playing these games a lot of unique ideas yeah i appreciate y'all support Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, let's hop right into this. Okay. Dear David, I hope this email finds you well. I am reaching out to you on behalf of our team. We are facing a critical situation in our lab and require your expertise to assist us with a data transfer task. We have a PC in our lab that contains crucial information. We need to transfer data onto a floppy disk for backup purposes. We believe your assistance will be invaluable. We kindly request you to come down to our lab at your, at your earliest convenience. The equipment and necessary tools are already set up. Thank you in advance for your assistance. Best regards, Peter. All right, cool. All right, we are in a basement. It's the, the heck is this? We got a first aid kit. Giant scissors, saw, like a butterfly knife, two monitors. What is this? All right. For the newcomers to the lab, I will say there is nothing to be feared. You must try to convince yourself right from the start that we all fail. But I do have some suggestions on how to survive. Firstly, have a good breakfast because that's the only thing you are going to eat. Secondly, second, just stare deeply into the abyss of failure and impending his existential crisis. Third, know everything you see, even if there is nothing noteworthy. And finally, remember to schedule a nap, Peter. All right. These purple too. Why is my sensitivity so crazy? Can't even mess with this. Shut up. Heck is this? That, what's my dang mouse? I came in with that A vacuum, gasoline, this paint. Got the whole setup here. What is this? Classified. Alien autopsy. Okay, top secret. Port ID NA3870413. Extraterrestrial entity has unique physiological characteristic not found in other organisms. Its skin exhibited a smooth green texture devoid of hair or external features. Tissue samples reveal a complex cellular structure with unfamiliar molecular compositions. The alien has a physical structure which resembles humans with four limbs, yet no sensory organs. Internal examination revealed a centralized nervous system, a single organ resembling a brain. Further examination is inclusive. Okay. 
Got some coffee. We're doing everything besides that job. <laughs> All right. Guess we go get this started. Can't get no snack. All right. Anything else I need? Guess that might be all. Let's head up over here. Software right. manual. In order to transfer data on the floppy disk, you need to follow these simple steps. Sit in the chair. Do not do task standing like an idiot. I do that sometimes. Turn on the computer. The box is on your left. Once the monitor is on, take the floppy disk. Insert the floppy disk into the disk drive. Load the monitor. Click on the keyboard just to confirm stuff. Wait for the data to transfer. Meanwhile, look around, get some coffee. I don't care. Once the transfer is complete, remove the floppy disk. Place it near a, place it near one of the laptops connected to the main server. It will highlight which one. We don't worry about it. Good luck and stay safe. All right, it's going. All right. I don't think I pressed it correctly, but I will. I do now. Oh. Alright. I'm doing that. We can go full 360 with this. It looks pretty simple. I guess I walk around. I do this thing. Let me check on this alien here. Still here. Can't mess with it. I feel like that's a good thing though. All right, got all this stuff. Got a radio here. All right, got to keep an eye on him or it. I want to misgender this thing, Nathan. Oh, okay, already got one here. All right, I'm putting a transfer in this thing. All right. All right, that's it right there. Check on him. This. At the radio. I ain't touched that. Oh Lord, I knew it. I knew it's gonna get up at some point. What's that? His lungs? Oh Lordy Lord. And my dang mouse decided. I'm laughing. Hey. All right, uh, hold on, man. Before we do that, it's still locked. Okay, where are you at, uh, alien bro? I come in peace. Ain't got no issue with you, man. There's another letter right here. Something strange is happening around here. Peter seems a bit off. After the last autopsy, he claimed that he can hear someone whispering, talking to him. I have a weird feeling that it is somehow connected to our research. There are things that we do around here, which cannot dis disclosure, which we cannot disclose outside in public. Maybe he feels that pressure. Yesterday he told me to stay late and asked me if I was willing to do anything in order to keep this job. I was scared, but it's very important for me to have this job, lab assistant. Well, uh, I know I'm qualified, but it ain't important to me. Now I gotta leave. Hi, how are you? Oh. You should not read classified files in the lab. Well, I got ending three already. Uh, I just closed. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's ending three already. Uh, I guess we go back to doing what we're doing. We just did the second data thing. Oh, and I feel like if I ever read some stuff like that, I will leave immediately. <laughs> Especially have like an alien in your thing, bro. Uh, yeah, we don't need that.
So, uh, so I guess the, uh, oh wait, check tabs, complete data transfer. Okay. I guess we didn't do the data transfer and just, yeah. I'm wondering if this phone has any significance. I don't know. I do not know, man. Give me a coffee. So ending three, just basically you just, but for, I didn't even complete the data thing. That's another thing. I guess I just try to complete the data stuff. I, Got this radio again. And then uh, the alien is gone. Re yeah, yes. This spooky music, that stuff. That secret door here. Wonder how you get a hold of that. Okay. Alright, get the thing. All right, next disc. I oh, what the f What? Hey, listen here, you little green mother. Hey, get back underneath your, get back your body bag. You creeped up on me like my little brother. <laughs> I know how y'all like little siblings, they just like, just pop up in your room, like ask you for stuff. Man, what kind of crap is that? That scared the heck out of me. The heck? What's that sound? That alien trying to escape or something? Hmm. All right, last one. I'm gonna watch right here. I can hear that. Can I mess my brain wave, brain wave dog? Heard a door open. Oh, that just part of whole sound effect thing. I mess with his lungs. Still waiting for this to transfer. I'm walking around. I'm trying to make sure he ain't sneaking up on me, bro. Sneak up on me one time. That's it. Okay, hey, that's doing. Um, I'm freaking scared to get it. I'm scared to turn around, dog. Need a laboratory. I'm getting the freak up out of here. A home. They still punch you in the face. I got the third ending. Mm. What if I do all of that and I leave? Cause there's a door that's chained up. What if I leave to the other door? I had to try that. That jump scare got me though. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do the data transfer and I'm gonna uh, just, yeah. Read all the stuff I read and do the data transfer and try to leave out the other door maybe. Might take a little. It, mm. This is interesting though. This is really interesting. I like this. It's not like too much. It's just something real simple. Oh, wait a second. What if I just leave? Just, just leave without the alien even waking up. I just go home. I can't. Mm. Okay. I wonder if me, like, I, what if I just let the radio go? If I, if I die again, I don't get another ending. I um, might just leave the radio alone. Cause I didn't read the, uh, the classified thing either. I wonder if that comes to play about something by like getting a different ending. Hmm. Bro, that still scares me. You know, I, I already experienced it. <laughs> the dang aliens like the little brother that, uh. Hey, can I have some candy? I like two little brothers. <laughs> When I was living with them, every time I had candy, they'd come in my room. And they don't like, like they, it got to the point where they like just, they'll call my name and they just hold their hand out and be like, like what, like really do you, that's what that alien like. I want to know what that whole lock thing is. I'm 
across the is it this like what is this chain about this ambient is still kind of creepy though okay Leave the laboratory. So what if I just, what if I lead through the other door and up the class file files are gone? What is there? What is, what is different though? I can't really interact with anything else. I put like a code in like them doors or something like that. I just leave and I just you complete the given task safe unharmed oh okay so that hmm so not reading the file changes you know what so that's why I was going oh okay we can touch it they ain't like I could just leave <laughs> okay that's one more ending I wonder what that is a few minutes later I'm gonna try Nick instead of doing everything they're just doing everything. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave. I just, just leave. And that was it. <laughs> I could have got that the first time, man. All right, we got all three endings. That was pretty nice. You just to get the regular ending, you just didn't have, you just couldn't be nosy, I guess. <laughs> oh man, that was that was nice. I enjoyed that. A guy dang little alien dude. That dude scared the crap out of me. All you had to do was just complete your task and leave. Well, that was a gimmick. A uh, very short game. Each playthrough took like 10 minutes. So yeah, it's not bad. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I like this whole concept of you just transfer data, just leave. Just mind your business. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and follow me on my social down below. As always, I appreciate y'all love support. Remember God loves you. Peace out.